All right. My video is on secularism, faith, and freedom. Many people in today's society would consider themselves secularist, saying that their ideals of freedom and, and equality are different in today's society. A secular society be, would be one such as Britain, who has a fair argument about the common life. The idea of secularity means that there is a public reason. Most people would say that secular freedom is not enough. And with the account of liberal society being dangerous and making it easier to simplify the notion of freedom while ending up destroying our understanding of the human person. Not that cool. Kind of like the human person here. We are them. Yet, this is an idea that is always an inadequate definition that everyone either knows or recognizes it is also stated that an argument such as this one needs to be looked at of course most arguments do need to be looked at reasons for that is it needs to understand how society can deal with itself with a potential collision there's many examples for this but the one that relates most to it is a human embryo and how it relates to the genetic research. There has not yet been an assumption, as there needs to be on this argument and how it needs to be followed. The argument is may or may not be heard and weighted. Needs to be, of course. A liberal society thinks that the reason for producing this, this is really well explained by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams. He once quoted, Moral motivation independently of the actual moral or spiritual commitments. This means that even though this may be in fact dangerous for speaking and behaving, it's human solidarity that matters. According to the history of Christian theology, seculars are often disturbed and knows nothing about secularizing elements. Christians desire to prove many questions of them and is continuing to disprove the dialogue of Islam. Even if it is not on a secular level of citizenship, it implies about the liberties of conscience. The answer to this is that, in fact, well, with the basic Islam commitment, it shapes throughout society. Now, the views with Muslims, on the other hand, is to distinguish that what should and should not be done. We should, though, not regard these crimes, but how Muslims serve justice in their society. What is this really saying is that our Christian dialogue between Muslim, Muslim and Islam is that the community, we need to be careful in what we say and how we say it. Reason for this is that there's not a good connection between Christianity, well, Christians, and Muslim tolerance. And the only way we are able to solve this is if we are able to argue in different ways to engage our futures with the Islamic policy. This includes politics. Ugh, politics. We should not connect or make anything any different than it already is. Although, we can make a conclusion that our interpretation of political identity of Islam, the Enlightenment accounts of secularism, faith, and freedom. Yay! That's my video. Well, my very late video. Thanks for accepting it. Yay!